So we're in, we're at Morecambe Bay. This is Morecambe Bay, isn't it? It's classed as Morecambe Bay, isn't it? Morecambe Bay, yeah. At Morecambe Bay. This is, uh, if you probably, you might have seen on the news a few years ago, some cockle pickers that died because they got swept away in the tide. That's here. That's literally here. So we're going to that bit of an outcrop of land there and the tide's actually coming in. So if we don't, if this doesn't ever get edited and uploaded, I'm dead. Uh, all the lifeguards have saved us. Uh, it's a low tide. Damien assures me it's a low tide, which it is. But as my mum would say, you can drown in an inch of water, <laughs> Damien. <laughs> so uh, this like goes back to when I was what, like 12. Whatever I did with him, for some reason, ended badly. Uh, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so that looks like, actually looks like a Range Rover, a Land Rover, or something. With the back door open. We're trying to get to that little sort of landmass over there, but there's a big gully that's fast filling up with water. And we are approximately that far away <laughs> from the coast, beach, whatever you want to call it, land. And we're sinking, because uh, Morecambe's pretty notorious for fast tides and sinking sand, isn't it? It's, we parked the car and it's yeah. drunk. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit broken. So uh, I think we should have bought and uh, try again when the tide's going out, not coming in. Uh, before we have to call the Coast Guard. Good news is that we didn't drown or get swept away. Um, I say good news, it's good news for me. Um, and the video will get uploaded because, uh, up, well, up to now, I didn't die. Now, I'm not saying that something else could wipe me out before I upload it, you know, I don't want to be pessimistic, but it's a possibility. Uh, 25 to 12, 20 to 12. It's, it's around that time. I know this is really important, so you need to, you need to, you need me to get that out there. I can't speak. It's the middle of the night nearly, well, it's not, it's about 20 minutes to as you just established. I've just posted my previous vlog, which was actually bits of other vlogs that were started that never went anywhere. They ended up being chopped into small Instagram videos. Point being is, I'm starting to do this again because I like it and I miss it. But now the world is opening up a little bit. Why does it look like it's daylight outside? That's really weird. Um, I feel like I can actually start to make little films again because that's what I enjoy doing. More importantly though, the gyms are opening on Saturday and I'm very, very excited about that. So let's hope that that goes well and it isn't a way to spread disease and it isn't too crowded. It's eight o'clock now. That's how fast last night went. It's time for work. Uh, coffee first though. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Don't blame me for being suspicious. But I see you need something else than what you want. I wish you could see yourself just like I do. Maybe you would know by now. I really like you now. Look, knee sleeves. Urban lifters. Uh, the gym opens today and I'm booked in for 10 o'clock. It's now 20 past nine. I've got a drink of coffee, I've eaten an apple, and I'm training legs. That's not a good combination. So I'm uh, really looking forward to it. It's been about three th a million, a billion days, I think, a billion. Yeah, it's about roughly about a billion days since I went into the gym, which was, you know, obviously a really long time ago. So um, I thought I'd go in and train my legs. I'm not gonna go crazy on them because that wouldn't be healthy. It could be dangerous. Uh, so I'm deliberately not taking my belt so I can't deliberately go super heavy on the squats. But I'm taking the knee sleeves because they keep your knee warm and uh, you just get that, that security feeling from it. But it's got some weird rules like, you know, you've got to queue outside, you've got to bring a badger with you, um, you're not allowed to punch anyone in the leg. All kinds of stuff that you normally would just be able to do, you can't. So um, I have to queue outside. Is there a face mat? I don't know. There's all kinds of stuff like that. Coins. Coins. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go and train. I'm not going to film anything because I'm too busy wanting to do the things and I don't know how busy it'll be and I don't really know what to expect. But I'll update me slash you mum uh, in a bit. Well, I've just got back in now um, and I had a leg session and it was great. Jim was 
quite quiet, uh, even though it was like booked by appointment only, and my legs are killing me. Didn't lift heavy weights at all. The squat was pathetic, absolutely pathetic. But my legs, my quads are killing me. I did some hamstring curls, and my legs have had activation for the first time, like four months. So yeah, it'll come back, it will come back, but already I know I'm gonna be in agony tomorrow. I'm already in a lot of pain now, a hell of a lot of pain. And uh, I just walked up the stairs and I live on the fourth floor in my flat. Uh, and that was difficult, very difficult. Getting out of bed tomorrow is going to kill me. It's going to be hell. Oh my God, what have I done? 